Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. This entire situation has been and it still is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, okay? Like, let me not even sugarcoat it though. And today we got an update to the Dr. Disrespect story. Suck is going crazy right now. We also got the Chris Tyson situation. Of course, Nick Merckx responded to it as well. And, and EDP, this is the funniest thing or be the saddest thing. It depends on how you view it, but. EDP is trying to make a comeback just because Dr. Disrespect is making a, trying to make a comeback. So he is, he is jumping on Dr. Disrespect's shoulder to make a comeback. You cannot make this up. Like the video if you're with, leave the kids alone. Dislike the video if you're not. And I saw this video, man, shout out to the homie August the Duck. He made a very good point. There are things that I disagree with in this video, but there's one point that he made that was uh, actually very, very good. Wait for that one, roll it. Well guys, I never really thought I was gonna be making this video. Maybe I was just being naive, but I honestly thought that once you admit to the entire internet that you were having inappropriate conversations with a teenager as a fully grown man who's married with children, that your career is kinda done for. But unfortunately, yeah, as yeah. we have seen over the last couple of days, that is not the case because as a collective of society, we have all gone fucking insane, and literally everything has to be political now. It's awesome. Now, if you have no idea what I'm referring to, I'll stop being so cryptic. As many of you probably heard about, a little over a month ago at this point, the very popular streamer Dr. Disrespect admitted to the internet that the reason for his controversial Twitch ban was because he was messaging a teenager on the platform. This was not a he said, she said situation. He admitted to all of this. Hey, even hey, 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 time out, time out. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. Going as far to admitting that the conversations got inappropriate. Going forward, I'm going to assume that if you clicked on this video, you have a basic understanding of what went down. If you don't and you want to learn, I know a guy who has a video that went uh, pretty in-depth on the topic. That'll be in the top right corner if you want to check that out. But from here okay. on out, I'm going to be okay. assuming that you are familiar with the situation, which would mean yeah, you know yeah, yeah. that when Wait this happened, it. it was a pretty big deal. It was a trending topic for days on basically every single social media. Oh man, it was a trending topic for weeks though, because every Every day something was happening, right? Like first, Dr. Disrespect didn't put out his response. I, I, the, the first cancellation came from his own gaming studio, I believe Robert Balling, you know, the guy that made, uh, or the guy that was the face of Modern Warfare 2 2009, right? So Dr. Disrespect founded his studio, Midnight Society. Uh, he started making his game and then brought in Robert Balling into it as well. So they're business partners, right? And uh, yeah, like he founded the studio. So the first cancellation came from his own studio and Robert Balling issued a statement. He has seen the facts, right? He don't act on rumors, something like that. He said, I'm paraphrasing, he said something along those lines right i act only on facts and i did i'm gonna i'm not gonna uh, uh, we're cutting business ties i'm cutting my relationship with dr disrespect and he also got fired from his own studio that he started just crazy right and i, I believe a day after then he admitted that yep he was uh, talking uh with a minor inappropriate inappropriately so that's what he said and i believe right after that uh, a lot of people were defending him a lot of people were not defending him so it was like a mixed bag right and People that were defending him, uh, I saw where people were coming from, right? Uh, people Still to this day, people are saying, we need to see the evidence. Uh, we need to see those chat logs because uh, was it really that bad? Or is it not then the Chris Tyson situation happened? I, he's gonna get down to that too, where uh, I'll talk about the Chris Tyson situation too, because uh, with Chris Tyson, you know, everything got leaked out. So Chris Tyson, there is a whole lot of evidence with Chris Tyson, so he also got cancelled, but not necessarily the way Doc got cancelled, because Doc got cancelled everywhere, NFL, NBA, uh, all the sponsorships, everybody dropped him. And, and with accusations like that, and when you admit it, understandable but you see people that are defending him they're like hey so we saw the chris tyson situation those dms and everything that he was doing was really bad okay was really bad you cannot defend chris tyson in the situation zero percent zero percent you cannot defend him at all with doc you cannot defend him but we want to see the chat logs what if it wasn't that bad because you see twitch there are twitch employees that don't like doc for political reasons and that is true but the opposite is also true guys like doc himself has admitted to it you you feel what i'm saying if he never admitted to it then of course then there would be room for hey we need to see this we need to see that but still, right now, people are like, hey, we need to see the evidence because what if it's not that bad? So that's what I'm seeing across the board right now.
media platform. It's one of the few influencer stories that managed to make it to real news stations. It was a huge deal. The guy was getting a ton of backlash and also quite a bit of support. But it was mostly negative, I feel, when this stuff was first hitting the news. And I feel like it kind yeah, of stayed yeah, yeah. that way until this whole Ava Chris Tyson situation started to get out. Now, if you don't know what I mean when I say that, basically, all you really need to know is that a member of the Mr. Beast team, who happens mm -hmm. to be transgender, was outed for doing something similar to Dr. Disrespect, alongside other things that are arguably worse. This, in my opinion, is essentially what allowed Dr. Disrespect to do what he did two days ago, which was returned to the internet after about a month-long hiatus through a Twitter post which implies that he is playing chess while- Yeah, while you're playing checkers, then the responses have been hilarious, man. Like, everybody's going crazy on it. The internet is playing checkers. Now, this is what I want to focus on for the majority of this video, but first, I want to address what I just said. If you heard what I just said, and you are completely clueless as to why some random YouTuber being outed for a similar thing would change anything about this Dr. Disrespect situation, good for you. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. You are a person who has not been corrupted by the dog shit that is the internet in 2024. But I'll try to explain it as briefly as I can. Basically, when this whole Ava Chris Tyson situation was unfolding, a lot of big names on the internet were being accused of not talking about this situation because Ava Chris Tyson is a trans individual. I think the most notable, the two I saw the most Excuse of the yeah. surrounding were Chris- Excuse me, was like, I follow mostly only influential creators here, yet most have been silent. It, it's true though, dog, like it is true with Chris Tyson's situation, Everybody was silent. Everybody was silent. That's a fact. That is a fact. At least initially, then everybody started talking about it the way uh, they talked about Dr. Disrespect. And now the situation has gotten bigger uh, with Mr. Beast as well, right? So seconds are making videos left and right. But you see, Chris Tyson's situation is different from Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast's situation is different from Chris Tyson. Bruh. Yeah, so there's that. Of course, there's a connection. Don't get me wrong. But what XQC said here, it it's true. People were not talking about Chris Tyson initially. Critical and Valkyrie, people were up in arms saying that these two and many other people were shitting on Dr. Disrespect and now they're silent about Ava. And of course, since everything has to be political in 2024, mm -hmm. these people are being accused. But, but the opposite is also true, right? Because uh, it, it's true. It's true. But but see, with Doc, Dr. Disrespect also did admit to it. His own ver very own studio did cancel him before he could even like put out his statement. That's true. But the rest of uh, cancellation followed up after he admitted to the allegations. But the opposite is, again, another opposite, right? Like, I, I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, uh, the other opposite is also true. Chris Tyson also did admit to it. But he didn't necessarily got cancelled the way Doc got. Right? We only know that he got fired from Mr. Beast on paper i guess officially on the internet but behind the scenes probably not let's be real that's his best friend right uh, that's what mr beast once said before who's dev not talking about ava because of them being trans now is this true or is this 24, these people are being accused of not talking about Ava because of them being trans. Now, is this true or is this not true? How the fuck would anybody know? I think it's crazy for people to act like they know that's what was going on. Now, yeah. I will say that I do feel like I noticed a difference in the reception of this information when it came to Dr. Disrespect versus Ava Chris Tyson. Do I think this difference was because Ava's trans? No, not really. I think it's because in the Dr. Disrespect situation, he came out and said, yeah, I did this. There was no doubt about it. The guy came out and said, this is what happened. Yeah. Whereas with the Ava shit, it was a bunch of evidence that none of the people in Involved were directly addressing, so people just had to kind of make up their own conclusions. Were those conclusions hard to make up? No, they weren't. But I think that is the disconnect. I think it's a lot less about sexuality than people are making it, but that's really- no, no, listen, he's making a good point, though. He He's trying to be objective, and I like that. I admire that. Uh, and, and it's true. Uh, once Doc admitted to it, that's when majority of the cancellation came in. Everybody was dropping him, canceling him, and all that, right? And that's when everybody was issuing the response. But another thing that he, so far he hasn't mentioned maybe he will mention in a second once chris ever ever chris tyson admitted to it yeah he also he he she whatever he also posted over on twitter and he said the same thing right i'm sorry this and that and admitted to it right and the response was really bad and there has been so much more evidence supporting a, a chris tyson done even worse things than Dr. Disrespect, but I will still say that Dr. Disrespect, we have not seen the evidence yet, so maybe there's a possibility the, the stuff that Doc did was even worse than Chris Tyson. I don't think it's gonna be, but let's be objective about it. We don't have, we haven't seen Doc's uh, uh, evidence or anything like that. We have seen the Chris Tyson situation publicly, like, it, it's, it's crazy. A lot of people came out as well, a lot of the victims came out as well, and uh, yeah, and he posted his apology, kind of uh, admitted to it. 
but we haven't still we still haven't seen him getting cancelled the way Doc got. Why is that? So you, you gotta understand that that too. Really not super relevant. The only reason it's relevant is because I think this sort of shift in how people were looking at these situations took some of the heat off of Dr. Disrespect and almost made people rally behind him because people were like, oh, he just got crucified for doing this. Now all these big YouTubers are silent, which I don't think was the case. But if you say okay. something enough on the internet, it eventually becomes the truth. And that's how we got here. Okay, that was a not so brief way of explaining something I said I was going to explain briefly, but that's kind of my style, I guess. So uh, whatever. All of that is to set us up for talking about this tweet with the stupid fucking checker. So yeah, he did not mention that Chris Tyson uh, responded and admitted and apologized for it. Uh, yeah, like, he did not, maybe he didn't see that, that's fair. But, but that's the thing though, like, once he put out, Chris Tyson put out his apology, he didn't get any more cancellation than uh, getting fired from Mr. Beast. Officially, on paper, behind the scenes, we don't know <laughs> if he got fired or not. But then Dr. Disrespect also made this uh, tweet as well. <laughs> yeah. Picture. So as of right now, this tweet is sitting at 110,000 likes. Keep in mind, this is the guy who was basically just ran off of the internet because he was talking to a teenager inappropriately. This would be like if EDP returned to the internet after going out to get some cupcakes and was receiving hundreds of thousands of likes. So I mean, that alone is strange, right? I mean, who are the 110,000 people who were like, hell yeah, brother, you're playing the fucking long game, 4D chess by talking- Now, now, EDP is- <laughs> Pump the brakes, right? EDP is trying to make a comeback right now. That's what I'm hearing on the internet. That's what sugar sugar say, that they are big. That's what people are saying, that EDP is also trying to make a comeback. That's what I'm hearing. All I'm saying is this, okay? Guys, if you take away one thing from this video, guys, control your dragon. Don't let your dragon go in a dark tunnel, all right? Control your dragon. Don't let your dragon do the tanking for you. You need to be the one in charge. You need to be the one in control, all right? Don't let the, your dragon control you. You need to be the one that controls it, okay? Like the video for some uh, philosophy right there. Like the video for the 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 <laughs> the, the 500 IQ I, IQ right there. Do a kid, what a fucking guy. Like what? It's weird. But it gets a whole lot weirder when uh -oh. you start to look at the replies. Now here's the reply that has gone the most viral. It's a person who asks, "Is this you playing with a minor?" And Doctor Disrespect hits her with the good one. She Gee slash her. her. The internet will never fix your real threat. Depressed. 137 likes he tried doc tried to ratio though doc tried to ratio but ultimately failed so yeah see august the duck uh no nah, like you made a very good video and there are points that you actually hit that uh that are very good as well and we're having a conversation so uh, attack ideas not people that's the approach i have uh but but see like people are of course people are defending dog too make no mistake like i've read comments absolutely a lot of people are defending dog but there's a reason for it as well because people have not seen the evidence but i also want to say this and i do agree that doc himself has admitted this time guys like people that are defending doc you guys gotta understand that doc himself has admitted to it so that's that's why massive cancellation came on him but i also do agree that hypocrisy is real though even after chris tyson has admitted and apologized and put out his apology even after that yes a, a lot of youtubers that were silent before they still s stayed silent that covered particularly the doctor disrespect story that is also true and secondly chris tyson never necessarily got cancelled uh, other than getting fired from Mr. Beast, uh, but you guys Impression. know that. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, imagine being so stupid that you think you own somebody who called you out for messaging a kid by saying, ha ha, you've got pronouns in your bio, dude. Like, how insane do you have to be to think that means anything? 54,000 people liked this reply. That just goes to show the staggering amount of people who will back you no matter what you've done as long as you say stupid shit like pronouns bad. Here's another weird one. Somebody asked him, did you- Uh, uh but, but pronouns are bad though like hey we know you're you're a female so yeah like we're gonna call you a sheep like simple as that pronouns i mean damn like are like <laughs> yeah th that's bad but of course like that's not necessarily the main point here w what she said was just funny okay <laughs> and, and yep doc has also admitted to messaging a minor so you cannot inappropriately and y you cannot necessarily defend doc so i do agree with that too but l let's be real like pronouns crap is kind of crap so
at least increase the vertical leap? And he replies with, and got a tan too? Yeah, you're a real fucking baller, dude. You went on basically what was a forced vacation because the internet found out you like to message teenagers, and you're bragging about how you got a tan? What a cool guy. Here's the last one we'll look at. This guy replied with a picture that has a lot of words that I'm not even gonna risk showing on YouTube because uh, things are getting finicky recently. But basically, it's calling Dr. Disrespect to Dr. Diddler. And Dr. Disrespect <laughs> replies with little brainwashed woke boy putting out Dragon Ball Z graphics with Kendrick Lamar lines. Got me big time. You're gonna have to take my word on this. There's nothing to do- Yeah, Doc is going crazy right now. So, yeah, Doc, of course, uh, was against all the, the woke crap that is going on, and that's based. That is based. But now he's like really, you know, utilizing that because, you know, he got, he epped up big time, right? Like he got canceled big time. So now he need to make a comeback with this way, right? Like, yeah, it, it's going to be interesting seeing the, 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 his first stream. I feel like that it's going to be the most viewed stream ever for Dr. Disrespect. I, I think it's going to break records for sure. I think it's going to bring a lot of the new memes. It's going to bring a lot of the new material. And, and I also do feel like that Doc need to bring out the receipts. Uh, and this is one of those arguments that people had for a long time, right? And a lot of people are saying that uh, if Doc... Uh, because Doc got cancelled everywhere, right? It's been a month plus right now. And, and there are both sides, of course. And people are saying this. You gotta understand that Nick Merrick's uh, closest uh, buddy of Doc uh, also parted ways, right? Tim the Tatman as well. Yeah, they parted ways after this one. But see, like, people are arguing over this. Doc should have cleared his name reputation by so by showing the receipts by showing the dms the twitch whispers the messages right if they were not this bad maybe he's gonna show and i hope he shows and if those messages were more like hey you know gym bullying kind of of course that's still not right uh you know bullying a kid is still not right but if it turns out that it wasn't that bad then a lot of people are gonna be on the side of Dr. Disrespect. But see, the cancellation has already been done. So, is it gonna be undone afterwards? If uh, he ever shows the receipts and uh, it's, it's actually good. That's my optimistic approach. That's the optimistic approach I'm seeing go around. Now, the other side is also true. If Dr. Disrespect was innocent, and if the responses or his message, the, the messages that he sent uh, to a minor, uh, right, in the words of Doc, this is not my opinion, this is what Doc said, guys, uh, that Doc said that he messaged a minor inappropriately, he admitted to that. Now, uh, the other side is true, if Doc really, if, if the messages are, the messages gotta be bad, right? That's, that is the main reason of him not revealing that, because if the messages were not bad, he would have cleared his name by now right like that's the all that's also the other point that i'm seeing around and it, it's it, it's a fact right it's a fact if uh if it's not that bad then show it show it maybe he's really playing 40 chess maybe we're, maybe we're gonna find out soon let's see the Kendrick Lamar in this picture. Also, I think I'm going to take quirked up white boy who's goaded with the sauce out of my vocabulary and replace it with little brainwashed woke boy putting out Dragon Wait Ball Z it. graphics. Also, can we just take a moment and really appreciate the optics of this situation? 31,000 people liked this tweet. A tweet which implies that calling somebody out for messaging a minor is brainwashed wokeism. Holy fuck, we've never been more cooked. I mean, when I see stuff like this, I am genuinely worried for what the climate is going to look like in 10 years or so. I mean, seriously, if you're a younger person and by the that. I mean, if you've grown up with these last four or five... No, no listen, I'm, I'm against that woke crap as well. Absolutely. But there are certain things where... Y you know what I mean, right? Like, yeah, like Doc f up, bro. You cannot defend Doc. Unless he comes out and drop the evidence. Uh, and what I mean by this, like I said, like he comes out, shows the receipts, shows the messages and, and messages, and we see those messages aren't bad, then understandable, then understandable. Then we're all going to be like defending Doc and we're all going to be, yeah. But till that uh, till that happens, I mean, you cannot defend Doc though. Uh, uh, he admitted to it, guys. He admitted to it, so years of the internet. So if you're like 15 or 16 probably, this might come as a shock, but there was a time on the internet. In my lifetime, my short lifetime, I'm only 22. I'm not much older than you if you're 16. There was a time where if you were the P oh, word, shit. which you can't say on YouTube for some stupid fucking reason, nobody liked you. Like it didn't matter if you were right wing. It didn't matter if you were left wing. It didn't matter what political shit yeah. you associated yeah. with. If you liked kids, you were outed from society. Now I'm talking <laughs> specifically about the internet because I feel like in real life, this is obviously still the case. It's yeah, really yeah, easy yeah. to forget sometimes, but 
Twitter is not real life. Okay, oftentimes you'll find it's pretty far from it. So I'm not saying we've like fallen as a society. And if you go ask a random person what they think about a person messaging kids, they'll be like, yeah, that's awesome. But this new forming internet culture where it's really starting to seem like no matter what a person does, the people that align with them politically are still going to support them no matter what on both sides is getting kind of scary. Like really, if you think about what's happened over the last month or so, there shouldn't have been any drama. We've got two huge names on social media getting called out for doing the same thing. And for some reason, it turns into a war of politics. Instead yeah, of everyone yeah. just coming together and being like, hey, both of these people are massive weirdos for messaging kids and saying yeah. some of the stuff they've said. Let's deplatform both of them and just forget about them. I mean, seriously, why is that not what happens? I mean, people are basically sitting here arguing, saying our side's creep is less creepy than your side's creep. We win. Like, it's so trans... You see, that, that's a very good point, though. That's a very good point. Guys, gotta be fair, man. Gotta be gotta be objective about this crap. Like, it, it, it's fair. It's fair. Now, the only thing, like I said, can uh, turn the ship around is if Doc comes out, drop the response. But, but see, like, it's been a month plus. He got canceled everywhere, though. Before, you, like, you should have done that, like, day one. Right? Or at least day 5 or day 10. Right? Now it's like, what? Day 40? Something like that, right? Maybe uh, we're getting closer to two months, Mark? Uh, yeah, right? Like apparent what's actually happening here. The people who spend all day arguing online about stuff like this don't actually care about the kids. They're not worried about the victims of stuff like this when it actually happens. They're only worried about how it reflects them. Their only concern is how it reflects their party, reflects their politics, reflects their sexuality. I mean, seriously, that's what it seems like. Because facts, on the internet facts, in facts. 2024, if one person does one thing, then whatever demographic they are part of is expected to prove that they are not doing the same thing as well. And that expands to a whole lot more than just what we're talking about today. And look, like I said, I know that what's going on on Twitter is not super reflective of what's happening. He's gonna bring world peace, guys. I'm, t I'm saying, man. Like, but no, that's a, that's a good point, though. That's a good point. World peace right there, bro. In real life. But still, seeing stuff like this all the time is pretty disheartening as, you know, a human. I've said this before, and it's insane that I have to keep saying it. The fact that we are at a point where we're so divided on the internet that we can't even all come together and be like, hey, that creator is messaging kids. Let's stop supporting them. The fact that that is not an agreeable stance anymore, it's never been more over. Well, guys, what do you think? Am I just... <laughs> yeah, check out this video on the screen, guys. This re recently just happened as well i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not insane stuff absolute insane stuff check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there if you already seen it then check out the gtsx leaks some happy video gtsx leaks for trailer 2 on the left